Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today we are going to see another type of compactness that is countable compactness. So before going to the concept of the countably compact spaces, we have to see what is a countable open cover. So recall the definition of a cover in a topological space. So if C is a collection of the open subsets of X and if we write that union of all of the subsets, open subsets, and by taking the union, this union is equal to X, then this is called the cover of X. And because we're using the open subsets, so this is the open cover of X. But if we have a restriction on that cover C or the collection C that contains only the open and the countable subsets of X, then this C collection whose union is equal to X, then we say that this C is a countable open cover of X because it contains countable open subsets of X. So that is why it is a countable open cover. And this X, because this X is a topological space, so the topological space is said to be a countable compact space or countably compact space if every countable open cover has a finite subcover. So if every countable open cover in a space X has a finite subcover, then the space is said to be a countably compact space because we know that what is meant by a finite subcover and what is meant by a compact space. So we can say that every compact space is countably compact because every open cover of X has a finite subcover, then every countable open cover also has a finite subcover. And there is no restriction when talking about the compact spaces of a countable collection or not because we only have to figure out the finite subcover in that case. But talking about the countably compact space, initially we have a countable open cover, and that is why we are talking about here with the finite subcover. So the extraction from the definition of the countably compact space and from the compact space definition, that is, every compact space is a countably compact space. And the examples of the countably compact space is that of compact space because every compact space is accountably compact so there is no any difference in the examples because we have to talk about the examples of the countably compact space that is already a compact space so this is for now we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel and you know to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye